morning guys welcome back to the vlog this morning look we got the uh, film crew have set up here I'm not sure what they're filming we'll have a little wander around see if we can see anything I've burnt my lip look it's all gone all uh, it's horrible I'm trying not to get too close I don't like to put you through that but yeah it's all it's a bit sore sunburn it was I had it burned all my forehead yeah a few days in the sun and it was extreme heat so forgive my lip it's uh, it's a bit swollen and a little bit sore but it's all good, it's all good. I'm just walking down now and uh, bumped into my friend Ron. Now, Ron, I've never seen Ron without Sandra and the dog. Now, Ron's walking on his own. So I I, I, I had to stop to make sure he was okay because I was thinking, has she kicked him out or what? But no, it's all good, it's all good. Right, let's go and have a little wander around, guys. It's busy, there's a few coaches, as you can see there, behind me. And there's also a few in front of me. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine that's awesome but uh yeah it's a bit of a cloudy day today cloudier than it has been but yeah it's still lush there's a breeze but it's a nice warm breeze it's all good guys it's all good let's go and have a wander now from the house i could see him recording they were on the gardens i could just see him they were just beyond the old toilet block but yeah i don't know what they're filming i have i've asked a couple of people as i was coming down but they didn't know so let's go and see if we can see him well there's uh quite a few people here i'm guessing these are school trips on the beach here and uh, down there they're doing a bit of painting on the old benches and they're doing something there as well i don't know what we'll have a look we're gonna have a nose but i've also got some pretty cool information about the fairground but we'll get to that in a bit okay so they've moved on from where they were because they were around this area somewhere it's a gorgeous day and it's actually nice to have it a little bit cloudy let's go this way it's quieter it's nice to have it a little bit cloudy because it just, I don't know, give my uh, lip a chance to heal. There they are, look. What's that then? That looks like a bit of Doctor who -y type thing, doesn't it? These people in their dress-ups. I don't know. What's that all about then? They hate me filming, guys. They quite often come over when I'm, when I'm here and say, do you mind not filming? But... You know, you've come to visit me, mate. Oh, they're spooky looking people, aren't they? Yeah, that looks quite Doctor Who, doesn't it, to me? Yeah. Crazy man. What's this? Look, he's going to make the wheelie bins open. Wow. That's magic. So I never get to see these things back because I don't watch Doctor Who and I don't watch Casualty. But I never don't watch hardly any TV, guys, honestly. But um, yeah, it'd be funny to watch these back, you know, after what, seeing behind the scenes to see what they manage to make of it. Hi, right, so that's that. It's not particularly busy this morning. Uh, yeah, but it's still lovely. This is my favorite weather, I'll be honest with you. It's dry. You know, there's a breeze, but it's warm. <laughs> it looks like the father's enjoying a, the caterpillar roller coaster more than his son is. There they go. All on tight. You don't look like he's enjoying it that far, lad, Levin. Yes, there's a few on the beach there. People bring tents nowadays, don't they? Yeah. We've never seen anything like that when I was a kid. Oh, look at this bike here. That's nice, isn't it? Harley Davidson. Wow, look at the spokes, aren't they? That's nice. Look at the wing mirrors there. The wing mirrors got skeleton hands. That's really nice. I like that a lot. My friend Craig from Goodwin's Place said there's a sinkhole down by the old harbour. So let's go and have a look. I haven't noticed anything. All I know is he said it's near the old harbour. Well, this is the old harbour in front of us. So I think we'll take a little scoot around the outside and see if we can spot what he's talking about. I think we'll head down this way and uh, see what we can see down this end and head back. I can't see anything at the moment, uh, but it could be over that side, couldn't it? That's still the old harbour, but we'll see what we can see. Years ago in this corner here, uh, I think it was only for one year in the 80s, they had a hovercraft and they went across the mine head. 
So I remember seeing that and that was amazing. Never went on it, guys, but yeah. Well, I can't see anything here. Can you see anything there? I can't. I can't see anything that resembles a sinkhole. It might be over that side, so I think we'll head back over that way. But look at these here as well. Oh, that's another thing I want to show you. Let me show you these. I, I, don't, I don't really know what these are about here, but there are some cool things up here I want to show you. I still can't see the sinkhole. Now, I've only ever seen pictures of these, so I'm not 100% sure where they are. I thought they were going to be around about by there, but they're not. I don't know where they are, guys. I really don't know. Well, we just as well head along here now, aren't we? And see if we can see the sinkhole up this end. There they are, there it is, there they are. Stop! Look, I didn't know exactly where they were, but did you know on the north side of the harbour are the remains of some lime kilns? And those lime kilns are there, look. Can you see them? Oh, let me take you over and show you. This is the lime kilns, and that's them there. That's mad, isn't it? See? Bit of history there, guys, see you? These were lime kilns. Wow. They should, do you know what they should do? Turn them into holiday lets. Camping in there would be nice, wouldn't it? I'd like that. There's a little fire in the back of that one, eh? I don't know, maybe they had like chimney stacks at the back or something like that. I don't know, but that's where they are. Well, that's where they were. Lime kilns. But this is lovely by here. I do like this. Yes, apart from all the mud, the mud down there, I don't know. I wish they would do something with that. I don't know what they can do, but the mud here is, it is a bit disgusting, to be truthful. But, look at it down there. I'm surprised how many times you see people stuck in it, where they think, oh, I'll just cut across here, and then you've got no chance. But I still can't see any sinkhole. I think we'll head over now, towards the breakwater over that side. See if we can see anything over there. But I don't know what these things are, yeah. Pretty patterns. Yeah. I have no idea. I can't see anything, but I don't know whether I'm looking... Am I supposed to be looking in there? Or am I supposed to be looking around the outside? We'll do a loop. See if we can see it. Uh, if not, we'll come back to that another day. I haven't got a clue, guys. Thing is, you could have meant over this area, yeah. I don't know. We'll come back to that another day. It is a beautiful day. I love it. It's the mansion I hope to be living in one day. I can dream, can I? This is a very picturesque bit by here. Uh, when you just come in slowly through the trees and it opens up to the beach. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. You can't see any squirrels here this morning. Just a few pigeons. Any in the trees? Maybe they're over there, are they? Can you see them? I can't see over there. Oh, 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 sorry guys, didn't mean to disturb you. This is something I've been meaning to show you guys, I've been forgetting. See the big screen on the, on the back of the uh, Hellraiser there? And that screen now is playing the TikTok of Speed 32. And uh, yeah, somebody reminded me in the comments the other day, and I appreciate you doing that. Uh, yeah, to show you this. And that, that there is the actual Speed 32 that's coming here. Henry uh, has just bought. And yeah, we've got a bit more news for that coming up very soon. But I'm sure you'll see this as you're waiting at the traffic lights, you know, by you, on your way in. And uh, yeah, it, is, it gives you some information up there on ticket prices and things like that. Yeah, it's really cool, really cool. They've done a nice job of that and it looks really good. Even in the daylight, you know, with the sunshine, you can still see it nice and clear. That's cool. A bit closer, like this, see? Got the ticket prices on there. I don't think it's showing up very well on the screen. But it is really clear, looks really good. People on Orbiter. Someone said the other day I should ride Orbiter. Do you know what guys? I've had enough of rides for now. Anyway, that looks like another intense ride. You know, where you're in a washing machine that's spinning around and someone chucks it down a, an embankment. Let's head into the fair and have a little nose. I can't imagine it's going to be particularly busy today, but you never know. Listen to them. <laughs> They're living a dream, huh? Yes. No, it's quiet, man. Well, quiet at the moment. But it's early, yeah, guys? It's still the morning. First thing you notice, G-Force is gone. G-Force has left the park. It's on its way to Jersey, I do believe. But behind this lorry here, let me show you. 
See that there? Brand spanking new ride, mate. That's just arrived. And this is the runaway train. I'm guessing it's made by River Rides. Because it's got it all over it. But this is the first, very first look, guys. It's only just come in the country. Runaway train. Wow, that looks cool. I like that. See there, look. Do you know what? I'm not 100% certain what type of ride it is. But it looks very nice, doesn't it? Runaway train. I'm guessing all this folds out here. And that'll be the frontage there. And you can see the sign up there. Just about inside there. Oh, it's exciting. Let's see if we can see more from this end. Some steps. Oh, there's the backboard there, look. Is that Winnie the Pooh on it, isn't it? Guys, you can see better than I can at this time because you're higher up. Uh, that looks amazing. Look at the train. Let me get in there, show you the train. Look at that train. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see this thing assembled. So that's wicked, isn't it? <laughs> and do you know what as well? You might have noticed that the lorries are not here. They've gone, they've left. They've left to pick up speed 32. Very exciting, guys. Very exciting times. And do you know what, guys? There was a bit of a panic on with this in, in the end, this, this runaway train, because they were given dates it was going to arrive. Henry paid for this a long, long time ago. I think it's given him a, a few sleepless nights. But it's here now. That is absolutely fantastic. And i got one other thing to show you as well. I think Henry wants to have a word with you as well. Okay, so this is what we had a couple of days ago. Uh, this is going to be the wacky gold mine type ride. And this is what we've got now here today. Look at that. Look, you can see, you can see where it, 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 the rise and the fall of the ride. It's going to be so cool, mate. It's not, it's not just flat. It's got some like dips and, and dives in it. You know, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it'll come along here and we go around here. Something like that, isn't it? Around there. Let's, let's, let's see if we can follow it. I think you come around here then, long year. It starts building up here as you come through this part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I would guess it maybe makes a U-turn, comes back up here, look over two levels, and it goes back, up over the top there. And I, I, I would guess it would return then and come back down here. And, and you would just go off the edge. No, of course you wouldn't do that. It's gonna, it's, that's how big it is, guys. It's going it's to go further than that again. But that's wicked, isn't it? We're getting there, we're getting there. But I do know this is not going to happen anytime soon, guys. This is kind of like um, when they're quiet, you know, th this is what they jump on. We used to call it in the uh, building game, like a hospital job. You know, if you're quiet at work, then this is what you jump on. Yeah, so this is, <laughs> it looks amazing, don't it? And I honestly can't get over the size of it. They said it was big, but that is huge, mate. That's going to take up a lot of room. And that's going to be so cool. So, so cool. That's the cars, or the carts, for that ride. And these are some of the, uh, some of the, what they call them, doodads you see on the way around. <laughs> Sorry. So we've got the runaway train, we've got the wacky gold mine. Guys, this is exciting, isn't it? Speed 32 come in over the next few days, I might say. They're supposed to be letting me know anyway when they're heading back in the country, so so, you know, so, so I'm here when they get you. Of course, I'll let you know as soon as I know. Hey, it's here. The runaway train. I thought it'd run away forever. We should have had it last May. And then it was June, July, August, September, October, November. And it didn't turn up. And we thought, have we lost the runaway train forever? <laughs> the perseverance and patience have won the day. Now, on the 13th of July, 2022, we've actually got it now. It's arrived this morning, at one o'clock this morning. So we've got a place in where it's gonna go and it's going adjacent to the big wheel. But this is a children's ride, which is only two tokens. And the price of that is about two pound 20. If you buy the 50 tokens, you only pay 70 be a token. All little rides are two tokens for the children. All big rides, the Dodge of the Walser, the Twist, the Graviton, the Super Trooper, the Frogs, the Freak Out, the Walser, the Dodge of... All the fairground rides are only three tokens. I like to give value for money. I think it's a great thing to give value for money. 
people today, they have a lot of money in their purse, but they know they can come to Barry Island, they're going to have value for money. Two pound eight on the big wheel? Hey, you can't do no better than that. But to get back to our missing train, I want to put my arms around them and say, I thought I'd lost you forever. I really never thought I'd see it. I thought I paid for it and I thought I'd lost my money, but it, it's not really all about money, but you don't like losing it. We're looking for the future in Barry Island. And I think we're just going to get better. We're, we're not done for yet. We, we, we've gone a long way. We've done a lot of things in Barry. But I think we can still take it to another level. And by doing that, it's just a little bit better day out for the people that visit us, that visit Wales, no matter if they're from England, if they're from Cardiff, wherever they're from, they'll come to Barry and they'll have that day they'll want to remember. But for those of you that believe in God, if you say, well, he made the world in six days, then he must have spent quite a lot of time making Barry. But I honestly believe Barry is the best place I've been to. I love it so much, I, I'm going to stay here forever if I can. So, hey folks, that's the update of what's going on in Barry Island. We've moved a long way, but come and see us. You won't be disappointed. So thank you, Henry, for doing that for us. Really appreciate it. Uh, guys, that's all i got for you for today. Thanks for joining me. Don't get lost or squashed. And we'll speak more soon. Bye.